it's just them sort of in a city looking all serious and like, you know, going. Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, Brit K-Pop Reacts, and today is another Lunaverse A Journey episode, episode 12. If you are new here, hello. Um, this is the Lunaverse A Journey mini-series uh, in which I plan to watch all of the Lunar MVs in order, so if you are new, please check out the previous episodes, there are 11 of them. Uh, this is episode 12 and today we are doing Sonatine, which is um, Luna one third. I think it's pronounced Sonatine. Um, I'm, not, I'm still not 100% sure of that, I'm assuming it is, I'm going with that. Um, please let me know in the comments if I am pronouncing that wrong, because I really want to pronounce it right. For all I know, it could be Sonatine, it could be Sonatine, I, I just don't know. So uh, please let me know, but I will, f you know, because I don't know any better, I'm just going to pronounce it Sonatine. If you enjoy this video, please, as always, drop us a like, drop us a comment, and of course, subscribe to my lovely self. Join the Brit K-Pop Reacts family on the road to 1K subscribers. Um, I assume that's still the case, I'm not actually sure. By this point, I mean, I'm recording this on Saturday. This episode will come out the following Friday, so by this point that you're watching this, I may already have hit 1K subscribers, I have no idea. Uh, but I'm just going to say it anyway, because at the moment, that's the case. And with all that being said, let's get on with this. I am going to watch the teaser first. There's a Love and Evil teaser which I do want to watch first because um, it looks like it might be interesting. So I'm going to check that one out first. So here is the Love and Evil teaser, which I think is their album, right? Here it is. So yeah, I think this is the album. I believe. Luna. Love and Evil. serious vibe isn't it this is epic this is as an epic for you <laughs> what a killer look Ooh. oh wow love and evil oh <laughs> i only just got that <laughs> it's only just clicked to me that that that's what love and evil is the reverse of love and live isn't it of course it is i know i've only just that's only just clicked when i saw that of course it is that makes sense um oh that was interesting that was really epic like probably epic like they're all really serious it felt like that something's coming like it you know what i mean it, it gave that kind of vibe oh that's really interesting oh i'm interested now you got me hooked right this is luna sonatine now luna on third sonatine um <clears throat> I am going to read this description before the video. Oh blimey, it's quite long. <laughs> okay. Hang on. <clears throat> okay, Luna Love and Evil. Luna is a K-pop group building its own view of the world. Six members of Luna, Heejin, Hyunjin, Hassel, Yojin, Vivi and Jin Sol have been introduced. She hasn't been introduced yet. Or are they talking about the Everyday I Need You? I thought that came out afterwards. I hope it did, because I didn't react I've not reacted to it yet. <laughs> I hope it came out after this, that's why I did this first. Um, unless she's been introduced somewhere else. And the unit of Luna One Third, composed of Heejin, Hyunjin, Hassel, and Vivi, has been announced to the public so far. Luna One Third has released Love and Live, filled with sense of youthful love. Love and Live was an album to express their palpitating emotions in the boundaries of contemporary K pop girl group music of 2017. A month later, Luna One Third releases Love and Evil, an inverted version of the album Love and Live. Which I've just noticed. <laughs> As suggested by the word evil, which is reversely spelled word from live. Very true. Which was planned beforehand during production as filled with pain and worries in the process of love. Which was planned beforehand during production. Obviously. I mean, I didn't expect that, that you just... Coincidence that that happened. Is love something sweet or is it something cruel? Good question. It might be a question too difficult for young girls to answer yet. The title track, Sonatine, takes the encounters of love away towards the adolescence of the girls. While Love and Live was a typical K-pop girl group tracks with lovely emotions, Sonity mesmerises the audience with mystical melodies unexpected for a K-pop girl group. Ooh, that sounds interesting, doesn't it? Colour me intrigued. The intro track, Love and Evil, produced by Sweech. Sweech? Is that what we just watched? Or is that just like an intro in the album? Materialises a girl who's lost alone in a dark forest, with the piano played in accelerando. I don't know what that means. I assumed it just means like quick piano, accelerate. Oh, 
I'm guessing. The girl runs away deeper into the forest. The four girls then gather to sing a sonatine to cast an arcane spell of love. So they're casting a spell. Oh, like, like Vivi's previous attempt in Every Day I Love You, Luna One Third time travels back to the 90s with the question of what if Luna was created in the 90s. I knew that was a 90s thing, or like early 2090s type vibe. I was getting that the whole way through that. Yes, confirmation. Eijin meets Hyunjin who goes to the same school in the same grade. Hassel is a warm friend who is like a mother to Yojin, who's like really young, isn't she? Uh, Vivi, an android who can't speak Korean very well, introduces Jin Sol in Hong Kong. Don't know when that happened. <laughs> Each member's character is pronounced vividly. Vividly. Okay, good pun. Vivid. Eijin. <laughs> I don't know if that was deliberate, but... His story of love that one third girls tell love and live or, or love and evil. New member will be announced in May. The girls of May, June and July will be of another unit. Odd eye circle. The girls who are lost in the forest have gathered here. Can they save Yojin? I don't know if that's, is that this video? Or is that um, the album concept? I don't know. Right. Okay. So with all that being read, this is uh, Luna One Third Sonatine. Let's do it. I'm excited for this, man. So this is like a spell, the cast in a spell then. Is that what we're supposed to read into this? Oh, vocals are early. Yes. Dungeon, still with a serious. Mysterious you secretive me, EJ. This is going to be a show off the vocal song, isn't it? I'm he hearing that earlier. Interesting sound. I mean, yeah, they, you know, they delve into kind of, like they say, traditional girl group songs, you know, um, but they are very creative, aren't they? They go, they go out there. They don't, you know, they love switching up. Seems like a very, I mean, I don't know if like I'm missing things or whatever. It doesn't seem, at least within the envy itself, I'm not seeing much in terms of law. It just seems to be very, there's a lot of like, you know, staring into the distance kind of. It's, it's just them sort of in a city looking all serious and like, you know, going, staring into the distance on these awesome shots, you know. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool song with different, as I say, I love that little dance break. That was great. That little dance break they did. Are we going to get another one then? Got a different vibe and everything. 
Yeah, I love the old wine, man. It's, it's very angelic, isn't it? Oh, there's the vocals. That hits there, doesn't it? That hits. Mm. Yes. Mm. All that backing as well. The backing as well. enjoyed that it was something different you know a bit kind of slower a bit more sort of contemplative but you know um had a bit of a serious vibe to it um yeah it was very different to what to what you know i mean i didn't know i honestly didn't know did not know what to expect with the song like it could have been anything to be honest with you but as i say like from a law standpoint i i wasn't seeing much there and i don't know if there's more going on obviously you know in the description it was talking about this spell business and all that um going on um, let me know if there's if there's stuff in there. Um, it just seemed very kind of you know, looking into the distance, uh, singing, you know, looking all angelic in there in the all white. But yeah, I like thinking about it. Actually, the dance break that they did, it was kind of very almost uh, very flowy, very kind of. You could almost read it as like a spell kind of thing, you know, like movement of a spell sort of thing. So I don't know if that was something there, but I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. It was very different. Very different. And uh, with all that being said, guys, I think we'll end it there. Um, this has been Luna One Third once again with Sonatine. Sonatine. Son Sonatine. <laughs> I assume, I'm going to assume Sonatine. Um, if you enjoyed this reaction, please drop us a like, drop us a comment, and of course, subscribe to my lovely self. Uh, join the Brit K-pop Reacts family as we delve more into this lovely group called Luna. Um, that would be awesome. And we are delving into the next subunit soon which is exciting so yeah join the fam and with all that being said guys i'll see you next time thank you so much i love you all goodbye and of course as always stan luna